What is kidney transplant? When the kidneys can no longer function well enough to support life, the two main treatment options are dialysis or a kidney transplant. Dialysis filters waste and excess fluid from the body, but a kidney transplant is surgically placing a healthy kidney from a donor into the recipient, offers a better long-term solution. There are two types of kidney donors. Living donors are often relatives, friends, or even unrelated individuals. Deceased donors are individuals who have passed away and donated their organs. Transplant from living donors generally have better outcomes, including higher survival rates for both the patient and the transplanted kidney. Mortality rates vary depending on the treatment for kidney failure. After one year of treatment, those on dialysis have a 15 to 20 percent mortality rate, with a five-year survival rate of under 50 percent. People receiving transplants have a survival rate of about 80% for a deceased donor kidney transplant and 91.5% for a living kidney transplant after 5 years. When to get evaluated An estimated glomerular filtration rate or EGFR is one of the lab tests indicating how well the kidneys are working. An EGFR below 60 may indicate kidney disease while below 15 indicates kidney failure. An ideal time to start transplant evaluation is when GFR is between 25 to 30. Transplant Evaluation Process The evaluation process may include the following medical assessment and psychosocial evaluation. Eligibility depends on individual factors and transplant center guidelines. For example, some centers may have a limit of 80 years old for candidates, and some have a greater or lower age limit. How long is the wait? Once approved, the candidate will be on the transplant list. Wait times vary by blood type, location, and other factors. The average wait time is 4 to 5 years, though this may be shorter or longer depending on the region. Some regions may have more patients waiting for a kidney, while some have fewer. So some candidates may consider getting listed in other regions with lesser wait times to improve their chances. If new medical issues arise, such as infections or cancer, you may be temporarily inactivated or removed from the list. In many cases, once the issue is resolved, you may be reconsidered. That wraps up part one on kidney transplant. In part two, we'll cover what to expect after the transplant, including recovery, medications, and possible complications. Thanks for watching.